So thanks, Al, first of all, many, many thanks for your time um, in giving us uh, this interview today. Um, for those of you, for those, sorry, for those of us that are not aware of your role, can you please explain what your role is at the PCB? So that's that the structure of Pakistan domestic cricket is um, continually criticised by current and former players. Obviously there are those who are in favour of the structure. Do you have any plans to change the structure and layout of Pakistani domestic cricket? Do you think that, obviously, with the structure as it, as it is at the moment, do you think that um, the uh, departmental teams have a distinct advantage over the regional teams, especially in terms of finances and the players that they can attract? Hmm. 
So, uh, Sultan Sab, just to uh, clarify that point there, the way the current set setup is at the moment, you don't see any uh, imminent changes with regards to the structure of first class cricket. Uh, what we, as I said, it is not that easy just to disband everything overnight. Mm. It takes some time. What TCB is uh, trying to do is to make it more competitive. What, what ever since I, I have joined it, I have uh, uh, changed few things in domestic cricket. Now, what we did this season was to make it more competitive. We have made this uh, uh, Kazakhstan Trophy, which is first class uh, cricket. We have uh, uh, now two divisions in that. So the top best team, 12 teams are playing in the Division 1, and there are 10 teams there which are playing in the Division 2. So mm. we have tried to make it a little more competitive. Last year it was like one-sided affairs. Departmental teams were very good. Regional teams were not very good. But on top of that, two years ago, Karachi Cricket Association was the Karachi the Trophy Champion, and the Sialkot Trigman was the champion of the Karachi the Trophy. They beat the departmental teams, mm. which are stars that is. So I think regional teams are coming up. What we need to do is we need to support them. We need to uh, guide them, which we are doing so. Yeah. Sultan Sahib, one of the um, the problems or one of the complaints from a number of first class cricketers that we speak to is the lack of preparation with regards to fixtures. You know, the announcement of tournaments and fixtures is quite uh, often left to the last minute. Why is it that the, the uh, domestic uh, fixtures are not announced at the start of the season, like, say, for example, they are in England? Yeah, I know, I know, everywhere it is uh, done like that, but since for the last two, three years, what's happening is there is, uh, since there are no international teams coming to Pakistan, so what happens is that suddenly from nowhere, the tour of Pakistan team comes up, uh, apart from the FTP, so we need to readjust the uh, dates and venues and everything, because most of the players then go, to, go with the Pakistan team. And then these things come up suddenly and then we have to readjust our calendar. What we do is then we have to get the budget approval, we have to get the calendar structure approval. And now what we did last year was that we were budget approved, we, we uh, circulated it to, to all the stakeholders and that is what we are going to do this year as well. We are meeting next week to finalize everything and it will be circulated. I mean, and that's not an issue. That's not a big issue uh, regarding the uh, calendar of uh, uh, PCP. Because we organize about 750 matches. And that's a huge number. Hmm. You know, we, we, we organize matches at the district level also. And there are about uh, 192 matches for the under, at the end of 19 levels and 192 matches at the senior levels. And that is I'm talking about the grassroots levels. Yeah. About 400 matches, 400 plus matches are played and organized at the digital level, at the PCB itself. Mm. We only have 120 first class matches, which is, I mean, if you divide it in, in, uh, in players, so each player who gets, who let's say is part of the best team, which goes on to play the Pentangular Cup as well, he only plays 15 to 14 to 15 first class matches. Yeah. If you if you look at this from that angle, so each player is getting about 25, 30 innings in one season, which is not a, which is not a big deal. Mm. Sultan Sahib, Pakistan are due to tour West Indies and the West Indies announced their 2020 squad um, yesterday. Um, they have left some players out who didn't play in their 2020 domestic competition. You know, why is it that a lot of the Pakistani international players, even when they are in Pakistan and not touring, don't play domestic cricket? And does that frustrate you? Uh, I agree. I think that, is, that should be the case here as well. Last year, I remember, there were certain players who didn't uh, play in the first-class uh, uh, circuit. They were not considered for selection. So that policy is already in place. And I think we need to get more strict on this. The players who participate in the domestic cricket should only be considered for the national team. And uh, I think uh, by and large that policy is being uh, followed. Mm. 
So what you're saying there is just to clarify that any players who are not making themselves available for their domestic teams should be ruled out for, from the international team. I think that is, that, is, that is the way it should be. So we have a selection committee, so they, what they do is they go and watch matches and they have records uh, of all the players. And players who have not represented, have not performed, they, they don't consider them. That is why if, if you just take a look at the previous Pakistani team, in let's say about three years, which have uh, played in different series, different events, they are changing in every team. So that means the domestic cricket is providing them uh, uh, replacements uh, for, the, for the players who are unfit or who have not performed well or who are on the uh, verge of retirement. So we have that backup. But now it depends upon those players who are picked up as a placement to maintain this uh, position in the team. Mm. It's not that for this, the domestic cricket is not producing players at all. That is rubbish. We are, as if you look at the Pakistan team for the last 10 years, all these players have come up from the Pakistan domestic cricket. Right from the 2000, if you look at them, all of them, mm. all of them, they came through the pathway which we have here in Pakistan and then the system from where. People come and uh, represent Pakistan team. Mm.